Hey everybody, Jake Knoll again here. Today we're going to be doing uh, another warm up. So we're going to get started just by doing some simple marching in place. Trying to get those knees up. You can bring it to 90 degrees or just whatever's most comfortable for you. Just going to get the body warmed up to start here. And then we're going to go and do some tricep moves. So in three, two, and one. The first one we're going to do is we're going to bring our arm up and over our head. Try to touch in between our shoulder blades. And with your other arm, you want to pull this down. Try to get a good stretch in the back of your forearm or the back of your tricep. Keep those legs moving. We'll be switching arms here in three, two, and one. Same thing, try to bring that arm down in between your shoulder blades and get a good stretch on your tricep. Good, keep it up. We're going to focus on your breathing, nice and controlled, nice and easy. Three, two, and one. Okay, this next one we're going to do, we're going to keep doing our marches and we're going to throw in some tricep kickbacks. So with these, you want to keep your elbows and your arms close to your sides and just focus on pushing out as if you had a weight or a dumbbell in your arms and getting a good squeeze in your tricep. And a couple more of these. Three, two, and one. Okay. Now we're going to go into some side steps. And we're gonna put in some shoulder presses with these as well. So you just wanna have your arms up at about a 90 degree angle. Then you're just gonna press up. You can go faster with these if you want. Get your heart rate going a little bit more. Or if you need to, you can slow down and just focus on getting the move in. Remember to focus on that breathing. Get a good pull down, 90 degree angle. And good. Three, two, and one. So now we're gonna keep those side steps going. And the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our arm across our body to stretch our shoulder, our deltoids a little bit more. On this one, make sure to not put your opposite arm on your elbow. You want it above or below to get a good stretch Good, and we'll be switching arms here shortly in three, two, and one. So same thing, make sure to just pin your arm either above or below your elbow. You don't want to put it right on your elbow. Focus on your breathing, nice and easy and controlled. <clears throat> three, two, and one. Okay, the next one we're gonna do, we're gonna work our upper back just a little bit. We're gonna do a reverse fly. So with these ones, you want a slight bend in your knees. You wanna keep your back straight and you wanna act as if you're holding two dumbbells. And you're just gonna hold them down low with your arms straight, slight bend in your elbow, and then come up and really focus on pinching your shoulder blades together and feeling that stretch and that work in your upper back. You go nice, <coughs> nice and slow and controlled, both up and down. Get a good stretch in, good work. I'm gonna do a couple more of these. Three, two, and one. Okay, now we're gonna go back and do our side steps. Now we're going to stretch out our forearm and our biceps just a little bit here. So we're just going to have one arm straight out, your palm facing up, and with your other hand, grab your fingers of that palm and pull it into your belly button. Really trying to keep your arms straight and focusing on the top of your forearm as well as your biceps and getting a good stretch right here. Focus on that breathing. 
and four, three, two, and one. We go switch arms. Good, get a good pull, good stretch. Make sure to feel it. Don't go anything too extreme. We don't want you to feel any pain or discomfort. Just go to where you can feel it and where it feels good. Three, two, and one. Okay, I'm gonna shake it out a little bit. Stay loose, keep the heart rate going. All right, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do some bicep curls. These ones are nice and easy. Again, you wanna keep your elbows and your arms to your sides and really focus on just using your bicep to contract your arm upwards, just like that. And we're also gonna throw in some hamstring curls with these. So as you come up, just curl one leg up. Now on these ones, it's important when you curl your hamstring, keep that toe pointed out and you'll really get a good, good stretch in your hamstrings. Five, four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna go back to side steps again. On this next one, we're gonna work a little bit of our calves. So we're gonna slow it down. When you come to stable here, you want your feet about shoulder width apart. And then you're just gonna raise up on the feet of your toes. You should work your calf muscles. If you want to throw in some balance work on this one and make it just a little bit tougher, you can go on one leg. You can hold your arms out to the side for extra balance. Or if you want, if you have a lip like I do on this map, you can stand on the edge of it and do your calf raises from here. Four. Four. Three. Two and one. Okay, next we're gonna stretch our calf a little bit. So you're gonna have one leg straight out in front of you with a slight bend in the other knee and your toes flexed fully up as if you're trying to pull it towards your shin. And then you just wanna reach down as far as you can. Again, don't go to discomfort. Just go to where you can feel good tension in your calf and you will feel it a little bit in your hamstrings as well. So you can hold for a couple seconds and switch legs. Just really focus on getting the good stretch on your calf here. We'll do one more. Good, back into side steps. So the next one we're gonna do, we're gonna work a little bit on our hips and our legs, our hamstrings. And we're just gonna do a forward lunge, but we're gonna hold it. So what this is gonna look like, is you're gonna do your standard lunge and come out. And then you wanna drop your back hip, almost as if you're trying to put it into your ankle. And then really feel it in your hip flexors. Get a good stretch. If it doesn't feel Okay, doing that. If you want to do something else, you can just do some standard alternating lunges. So step out, lunge down to about 90 degree angle, both in your front and back leg, and come back up. And again, just alternate those. Good, focus on your breathing here. Couple more. Three, two, and one. Good job. Go back to side steps. Loose the goosey a little bit. If your leg's probably feeling a little tight after that one. And the next one we're gonna go into is just your standard squat. This is gonna target a lot of our muscles, primary muscles in our lower body. So what you wanna do is have your legs about shoulder width apart. Slight bend in your knees, and with this, 
You can have your arms out in front or you can hold them close to your chest. And then you just want to squat down like you're sitting into a chair. Keep your waist back and your hips back. And just squat down. If you want to make these just a little bit harder, you can go past 90 degrees. Try to get as low as you can, good work, and then all the way back up. Or if you want to make it a little bit less of a challenge, you don't need to go down quite as far. A couple more of these. Two. And one. Yeah, shake it out if you need to, grab a drink of water, catch your breath, whatever you need to do. This next one, we're gonna move down to the floor. So for this, what we're gonna do, we're gonna stretch our hamstrings a little bit. So with one leg, just bring it in, put it on the inside of your other leg here. And then you just wanna try keeping this leg straight and your toe up, foot up. Just try to touch your toes as far as you can. Again, not feeling discomfort, but really feel this throughout your whole leg and primarily in your hamstrings. So I'm just gonna hold this for a couple seconds on each leg. And catch up on your breathing here if you need to, just nice and easy. Just be aware of it. And we'll go ahead and switch legs. Just hold and get a really good stretch. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, next, this next one, we're gonna go ahead and lie down on our side. You can start on either side that you want. And you're gonna put your legs on top of one another. You can use your arm as a support, as if you were sleeping. And the focus on this one here is we're just going to do some leg raises. So with these, just come straight up as high or as much as you can, or you feel comfortable with. And just be slow and controlled both on the way up and on the way down here. So a couple more of these. Three. Two. And one. Good job, keep it up. So next we're gonna stay in the same position. And with our same leg, we're gonna work on stretching our quads out. So you wanna just bring this leg to you and grab on the top side of your foot with, your, uh, with the same arm and just pull your foot into your hamstring and you'll feel a really good stretch on the top of your quads. And this one we're just gonna hold. So be aware you're breathing in and out, nice and easy. Deep breaths, get a good stretch. Three, two, and one. Okay, good. So now we're gonna do that same exact thing, just on our other side here, get our other leg work in. So again, both, both legs on top of one another, one arm supporting your head like a pillow, and then we're gonna do some leg raises. So again, just focus on bringing that leg up, keeping it straight, slow and controlled, and then back down. Few more of these. Three, two, and one. Okay, good. And then next, we're gonna go back into that quad stretch. So bring that leg back, grab it with your arm, with your hand, and just focus on pulling that foot into your hamstring. And again, getting a good stretch on the top of your leg on your quads. Two, 
three, two, and one. Okay, good, good drop. So next we're gonna stay kinda in this floor position, and the next move that we're gonna go into is a push-up. So with these ones, pretty generic, you wanna have your hands about equal length apart, equal with your shoulder. Standard push-up position. You wanna have your butt low and your back straight. Just come down and then back up. If those are too much of a challenge, then you can go on your knees like I am here. It takes off a little bit of the weight and the load and then just again come down and push up. Keeping that back straight and the butt low. Getting good work in your chest, your arms, your back. Good. A couple more of these. Two. And one. Good. Good job. Keep it up. So next, we're going to stay in this pretty much the same position. We're going to do a plank. So again on this one, we're going to be lying on our forearms here. You can either have your hands together, interlaced, or separate, whatever feels best. But with this, you just want to stay off the ground with your back and butt low and level. Really tighten your core and really feel it in your core. Keep control of your breathing nice and easy. Just hold. Three, two, and one. Good. Okay, now we're gonna work a little bit of our lower back. Kind of stretch it out just a bit more. We're gonna do a cat cow. So with this, hands and knees, breathing nice and easy. And you wanna pull your lower back pretty much to the ceiling. So you wanna come up. And really focus on just getting a good pull and a good stretch towards the ceiling. And then back down. And up. Back down. Again, keep control of your breathing here. You can catch up on it a little bit if you need to. Grab a drink of water. Two, and one more, and one. So good job. So again, we're gonna stay in the same exact position here, and we're gonna go right into a bird dog. So with these, with one arm and the opposite leg, we're gonna to wanna to lift and extend out, like so. And then switch arms and legs. Really, again, trying to focus on that extension and getting a good stretch throughout your whole leg, arm, and upper body. Three, two, and one. Okay, next, one of our last exercises here, we're gonna go into what's called a figure four. So we're gonna sit down again here on our glutes. And with one leg, you wanna bring one leg up and rest it right above your knee on the other leg. And you wanna bring one arm under onto your shin with the other one right on top. And the focus here is bringing this leg, pulling it in and getting a stretch on your other leg. So we're just gonna hold this here. Nice and easy breathing. And in three, two, and one, we'll switch legs. So again, one leg up, above the knee on the other, down and under, interlace your hands, and pull this leg in to stretch the outside here of this leg.
three, two, and one. And we're gonna stand back up here and just end this warm up. We're just loosening up. You can do some side steps again, some arm swings. Just get full loose. And that is going to bring us to an end. So thank you for joining me today and have a good rest of your day.